really means museum and more, or museum and beyond the museum we know. We define it as a museum of not only of art but of visual culture, meaning what we call art, what we call design, architecture, moving image, so the wide sort of visual culture field. It was difficult not to be attracted by M+. Um, it has so many ingredients that makes it uh, interesting. Um, it certainly could become the most important institution for visual arts, visual communication, visual performance and artists' work or crossover kind of work in Asia and not only in Asia. A totally new institution, so the building would need to really be thoughtful not just a piece of architecture that is especially flashy or especially whatever. I mean, like on every competition, we test a lot of things until we kind of settle in on the right kind of idea. What we always found a bit challenging on this project from the beginning was basically the empty site. Just a bit over 20 years ago, there was no site. It's actually part of the Victoria Harbour and then the uh, areas we claimed. So the land is somehow innocent, the land is virgin. You know, it's like when you are uh, in front of, um, of a project and start to think about it and where are you? You need something to, to grasp. And so for us, it was very important to find something, you know, where we could get a start. Here, we did not really have this uh, possibility until we found this Airport Express line, which was sold to us as the major obstacle of the site. And rather than making it a huge problem or rather than just ignoring it, because that's what they recommended, just pour a three meter thick concrete plate on top of it and just pretend it's not there. We did the opposite. We, that was the only thing we found on the site, and we made it basically the, um, the starting point of the entire design. By digging it out, we could have a more vertical experience, which makes the experience also more um, multi-dimensional. They did the same a little bit like they did in Tate Modern, when they, instead of trying to get away from the huge turbine hall, actually embraced it and made it to a centerpiece. Well, the building kind of exists of these four main parts. And the first one, which is really where we kind of started the whole process, is the found space. The second element will be the platform above this, which is like a public uh, uh, plaza, if you want. We have multiple entrances on multiple levels. Basically, whether you come from the artist square, whether you come from the park, or whether you come from the water, this is where you will meet. It's uh, almost like the um, introduction into the whole museum. Above that you have the podium level, which is, um, houses the more conventional galleries. So it's uh, all on one floor, so it's very, very easy to um, navigate through these. And um, the fourth one is the vertical slab, which is a very thin tower building. Well, we have lots of workshops, one every three or four weeks, and we're about halfway through the process that leads to scheme design, which is the point at which you know where all the rooms are, you know where the structure is, but you haven't done a lot of the detailed work on exactly what rooms look like, how their floors are finished, that comes later. So it's a very intense period where we also, as a, the museum team, have to be clear on what we want more precisely. It was a successful competition because they were not only looking for a design, but they were also looking for a design team, which is a huge difference. Each workshop has a different topic. Today's topic basically was the display spaces. So we really work together with the M Plus team on figuring out the layout of the display spaces. The different qualities, the sequences, the openings, the floor, the ceiling, proportions, uh, locations, adaptability, uh, we even discussed materials, windows, 
into the landscape, skylights, no skylights, quite uh, detailed walkthrough through the entire um, podium level. I personally always are fond of museums that don't feel like a temple or a cathedral, you know, so people have to go into big, huge, grand building to worship the art. I think art is for people to interact with and art is for people to live with. So I, I hope parts of the museum can be very public friendly, even to, to the members of the general public who are not a typical museum goer. 呢個博物館裏邊咧，都有一啲係係俾人哋去消閒啊，或者係慢慢去去思考嘅地方嘅。譬如話，我哋有一個誒空中嘅花園啦，誒或者係有啲餐飲啊，或者係有啲即係 cafe 啊，即係一啲嘅誒嘅地方啦。誒、um, 呢個都係誒喺個建築設計裏面咧，我覺得係一個好重要嘅元素。當我哋講到誒，即、呃、係、就是、博物館嘅教育嘅誒設施咧，佢絕對唔係一個一個附屬或者係次要嘅一個誒項目嘅時候咧，我哋當我哋睇個設計咧都一樣嘅、呃。我哋可以睇到一啲、呃、我哋嘅、呃、教育嘅設施咧，其實咧就喺嗰個主要嘅誒，即、呃、係、就是、entrance 啦，喺我哋嘅博物館嘅誒，即係地面啦。咁你會見到裏面咧，其實會有好多唔。同嘅誒誒設施啦，譬如包括咗會有一啲嘅誒工作坊嘅地方啦，或者係可以做誒、呃、講座嘅一啲嘅誒演講廳啦，甚至乎咧，我哋都希望咧誒啲觀眾咧，其實佢哋參與咗我哋嘅活動之後咧，可以咧將佢哋一啲嘅譬如製作完嘅成品啊，一啲作品啦，可以咧我哋有啲係誒即係誒展覽嘅地方咧，係俾佢咧可以向公眾去展示嘅。Conventional museums, you walk in the front door, you get some information. You walk around a lot of galleries. You come out the other end, maybe have a coffee, and you leave. We wanted there to be places in the museum where、um, you could see the life of the museum going on. That part of the museum that is uh, uh, generally hidden to the public under the ground. There's a link across between the two buildings. What the conservation and storage building does is it provides a big amount of space for storing the collection and for working on it. In this building, there there'll be a big window that looks into something is exactly like a gallery space for the public, but it's a private space where we can、um, assemble works of art. The public can watch while that process is going on. 我而家所在嘅位置就係將來 M Plus 西 area 嘅西北角落，而 M Plus 正正係喺我哋西邊呢一邊嘅最重要嘅其中一個我哋嘅建築群。I think it will work well against the backdrop with the ICC complex, and then we have the harbour right in front, and then the Hong Kong Island skyline. We were really asking for a building that, on one hand, really could take its location, take its place there, and be sort of gutsy enough. In competition with all the others, it was important that it was a building that actually announced that it was a museum and not an office building or or a residential building. But it really had that sense of being a museum building. The building itself offers another potential through that slab that is the office administration workshop、um, restaurant slab. Uh, in that it's a very innocent office building you see through. It's very thin, but it's also like a screen、uh, that can be used by artists and informed by artists as a display space to project artistic messages, images, text, whatever, and to infuse them into the skyline of Hong Kong, which is the commercial one. We're still in the early stage, but we're testing out the the spacing of these LED、uh, lights, how that will look、uh, from varying distances.、So、we're also thinking of using photovoltaics to provide the power for this LED screen. A museum is really a meeting place between a content and its audiences. Of course, one of the most important tools we have in this meeting is the building. A lot of things that we will be presenting ask for a building, ask for certain spaces. That architecture and design and so forth should be seen together with the art, without a sense of hierarchy, but rather to embrace the dialogue between the different parts. Also, I think there is a symbolic value in the building that is important to sort of maintain and keep. I don't think a museum without a building can really last over a long period of time. It needs that symbolic sort of presence. But 
it's not the same as the museum this building we're designing. We will continue to happen outside the building, both in cyberspace, in a digital form, and of course in a physical space out in the West Kowloon Cultural District and hopefully out in the, in the city of Hong Kong as well.